I don't get a lot of time to uh, test things out these days due to the weather. Uh, thankfully it rained and the snow melted. Uh, so what I'm going to show you today is using an analog VTX to transmit audio so that I can use that audio mixed in with my real-time HD0 feed. So now I can have audio alongside digital HD0. So to do this, what I've done is I've installed a analog VTX. I think this is a Zeus. Zeus HGLRC Zeus mic, uh, analog VTX that has a mic built in. And I just slap that on top of my drone. Uh, in the future, I might consider just like uh, putting it next to the battery and then powering it off of the uh, uh, balance lead with a Beck. But for now, uh, yeah, I just slapped it on there and we're gonna go do a little proof of concept. On the goggle side, all we have to do is connect an analog module. This is a TBS Fusion. And then make sure that the um, audio option is turned on on the uh, analog module. Then I just tune to the analog channel uh, that the VTX is transmitting and then I switch from analog to HD0 and then I get both. For a headphone I'm using the uh, Mr. Steel earbud and uh, yeah you just plug that in to the jack here for audio and then a uh, little pro tip you can route the uh, cable through this clasped here because this is a button that unclips and that is a nice strain relief on that. So I've got the drone plugged in. Next step, we're gonna to tune to the right channel. All right, so I tuned to the uh, channel R3, and now I'm getting audio, and now I'm gonna flip over to HD0. Okay, so I've got HD0 feed and analog audio. Let's do this. It is so nice having a little bit of audio feedback. All right, time to uh, change out a battery and try this again. All right, fresh battery, let's go. Yeah, so with audio, I can hear things like what the props are doing. I can hear like a little bit of bounce back when I uh, do a snap roll. It's pretty interesting. It's also, of course, easier to hear like a bent prop or something. A little bit easier to uh, stay focused on the, the quad also. Ooh, that was close. Maybe a little punch out here. So, definitely a, a cool thing that I can do just by uh, strapping an analog VTX onto the uh, the drone and taking advantage of HD0 goggles capability of uh, multiple sources like this. So that's adding on analog by just adding on like a $19 VTX that's got a microphone built on like this Zeus VTX that's uh, be linked in the description. What do you think of that type of solution or workaround really? It's pretty interesting that I'm able to do it in the first place. Um, HD0 goggles, really a unique thing where you can mix inputs. So this is just actually one example of mixing inputs. Uh, where we, we're taking an analog audio um, and then feeding that in from the analog VTX and, and listening to that on the output and then uh, getting video from HD0. Technically, 
uh, we can do other things. Um, I'll have to double check, but I think that we can do the same with HDMI input. So if you had an HDMI VRX, this same technique would probably work. Another thing that's I've heard in the pipeline from Carl is that he'll be able to do a picture in picture mode. So you could be able to pick like an HDMI source or an analog source as a uh, picture in picture overlay in the corner of the uh, goggle. And the reason that you'd want to do that is maybe a couple of use cases. You could uh, monitor a uh, camera on a camera drone through an HDMI input or an analog input while you're flying HD zero. And uh, that, that's obviously pretty useful to be able to frame your shot. And then the other case would be maybe you're doing team racing with a mixed uh, environment where some guys are flying analog and some are flying HD zero. So this would let you tune in and have a picture in picture little window of the analog guys that are flying. Well, you are flying HD zero, of course, because you bought the HD zero goggles. Some other ideas I have for adding audio to this would be, um, well, we don't have to use an analog VTX. Uh, we could use some other kind of wireless digital audio transmission system um, and then run that into the uh, audio line in and then have the audio line in uh, go to the um, output, go into the headphone output. So that would also uh, work and it would be DVR recorded. Another thing I'm thinking that we could probably do is we could take the uh, OSD data for the RPM values for each of the motors. Those update it, um, you know, like I think 10 hertz about. Uh, and we could synthesize a sine tone with a series of harmonics on top. So think like three sine tones um, that are all stacked harmonically to match the number of blades that we have on the drone, so three blades. So you'd have a sine tone centered at the center frequency of the RPM, and then uh, two additional tones on top of that. And then you'd have um, four of that, of that sequence, one for each of the motors. So that could help simulate the audio. If you think about it, uh, flying a drone without audio is a lot like playing a video game without any audio. You're really missing a lot of the uh, auditory cues and missing a lot of depth in your flying. Now, the analog audio is really low fidelity, but it does give us that feedback. And uh, also, it's zero delay. So the zero delay analog audio mixes really well with the zero delay HD zero system. Because us humans, I, I think we're pretty um, sensitive to changes in delay on audio. It's pretty unsettling for us. A lot of things with uh, our hearing is based on minute timing differences, even more so than visual. So uh, having that audio be very uh, consistent and timely is important. Last note here, um, technically the HD0 uh, ASIC supports audio, but to do that, it would require uh, taking up the data channel that's currently used for the on-screen display data. So obviously, uh, most of us are gonna prefer to see on-screen display data um, rather than uh, use that for audio. Um, further, we don't have any VTXs right now that support an, a microphone and there's no way to add one uh, that I know of. So doing a workaround solution like this um, saves a lot of money, obviously, because you don't need to replace any VTXs. You can just add it on if you want it. Also, i um, pretty sure we can just reuse the same analog $19 VTX for all of our builds by just plugging it into uh, the balance lead on the uh, battery uh, with like a GoPro back off the off the battery balance lead. Uh, so really you could, you could add audio onto all of your digital drones just with one cheap analog VTX. So that's all I got. Uh, what do you think? Is adding audio onto your drone something that you're interested in? Are you interested in um, maybe helping the open source project come up with other ways to add audio? Uh, kind of like through the on-screen display scraping method that I was talking about, where we could look at the RPM values and synthesize sine tones. I mean, yeah, we, we can do a lot of things. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So have fun flying, and uh, maybe you'll find this useful.
Let me know in the comments. Bye.